This Navigator follows on the heels of the redesigned, tech-filled Cadillac Escalade and will also face off with a redesigned Infiniti QX80. That means affluent SUV buyers looking for luxury, power, towing capacity, and space now have several freshened-up models to choose from, although pricing on top trims will be well over $100,000. Many of the new Navigator's most impressive tech gadgets carry over from the previous generation, most notably, Blue Cruise, Ford's semi-autonomous adaptive cruise control system, and a trailer backup assist feature. But there are a few bright spots among the new Navigator's improvements. One is a foot-foot-long horizontal instrument display spanning most of the upper dash. Blue Cruise, Ford's hands-free adaptive cruise control, which includes lane change assist and uses the available lane width to scoot the vehicle a few inches farther away from the vehicle next to it when passing, is standard on the new Navigator. The new Navigator's lines flow a little more smoothly than before, and the crisp edges of the previous generation have been softened a bit. Following general styling trends across the automotive industry, the headlights are more squinty, and there's that dash-dominating digital display panel. Navigator fans will recognize and appreciate a familiarly spacious and luxurious-looking interior, the big front console, and the panoramic roof glass. Lincoln calls its 2025 Navigator all-new, but with the exception of updated styling and a few technological flashes, it looks like more of the same from a nameplate that's been the standard in sparkly but relatively rough truckishness for more than two decades. Neither the powertrain nor the dimensions have changed over the previous generation, 